everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 38, and this is war number six. We're about halfway through, and we're going against an alliance called Croatia. Did I say that right? Hope I did. All right, um, who did they ban? Human Torch, Hercules, and Ghost. Okay. Let's uh, spectate real quick, see what we can do. We're trying to plan things out a little bit better. Oh my. Ew. So, wow. Okay, this should be interesting. I I, I think uh, Gallon should be just fine for this. Okay. Okay. And he's just a beefy boy. Hate fighting him, but shouldn't be too difficult. All right, so we got Scorpion on that mini node, but um, Mad Marty in there has already called that. So we're going to leave that to him. We always leave the middle. Omega Sentinel, let me... Um, we have a, a sheet right now that um i guess i can do that later but i'm taking all omega sentinels on that node gallon destroys okay and we've got nimrod on that one so i can take both those minis um i'm gonna bring nebula for that nimrod i'll bring gallon for my path three um section one and for that omega sentinel uh, and i'll bring uh, probably Claire for Path 3, Section 2. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All right. Let us get on with the fighting. Okay. We are back. And let me tell you, Gallon is awesome. So I'm getting used to fighting with him. And the more I use him the more I'm just amazed by him. I really hope that they don't uh, rebalance him downward. You know, just leave him alone. Uh, but anyway, this war, I actually take on two minis. We've got an Omega Sentinel. And of course, I'm going to fight uh, that Omega Sentinel with Gallon, And we also have Nimrod. So that's why you saw that I went in with Nim, uh, Nebula and went in with Gallon. Uh, Gallon is just perfect for my path. And I just kind of like to look over, make sure that I do remember, but <sighs> he is just awesome. Just look at this. So in case you guys don't know how Gallon works, um, he builds up planetary mass. The more planetary mass he builds, the more damage he does with those specials. Um, knocking, I believe it's it's a heavy attack. Just look at that. A heavy attack to uh, start the harvest. And then you do a special and you saw what happened. The reason why he does that on this path is because he's immune to power burn and nullify and power lock and all that good stuff. But every time the uh, power lock, power burn, nullify fail on him, he gains planetary mass. Well, that's this entire path. This entire path is a power burn. Um, uh, I think it's power burn, not nullify, but a power burn path. So he's basically building up planetary mass in a crazy amount of time. Now, this fight here, I, I kind of knew that I would probably take a little bit longer because I was like, okay, this is King Groot, and he's beefy, okay? Don't want to deal with his special two, even into my block, all right? So here I got enough power, planetary mass, but I also have to watch for his um, uh, Furies. Okay, so at this point, I know that I'm going to end up 
having to fire my special three. So I'm just waiting out the fury uh, mode. There we go. Now I can fire that off because when he has furies up, he can um, shrug off debuffs. So I just like to wait until that mode is out before I do anything. All right, so just look, that special three did damage, all right? But now look at this. He's going crazy because he knows what's coming. Now all that glancing is annoying, okay? But you can see I am uh, unstoppable at this point. Look at this, I'm unstoppable. And he's done. Now, I was trying to build to a special uh, one to hit him with that, but yeah, harvest ended and he got, I believe the harvest ended and he got clapped. So yeah, Gallon, hands down, is the goat for this path. He is made for this path. All right, now that Scorpion right there, my uh, alliance mate was like, I got Scorpion. I'm like, okay. Last time I went in there trying to fight um, and he had brought the proper counter, I died. So yeah, I let him go ahead and have that. And now I came back after they cleared the middle and they were waiting for me to take this Omega Sentinel. This was a good uh, position to have Omega Sentinel in until Gallon. And I wonder if that is how Kabam does it. Um, it. It seems like it because I've seen that happen over the years where they'll have something in Alliance War that's difficult, but then later they'll come out with a champion that's a good counter. You know, because Gallon is new. I Normally, I wouldn't even have Gallon if I hadn't gotten lucky in the uh, crystals for the uh, featured. I wouldn't even have Gallon. You know, I'd have him as a five-star, and, and the five-star probably would be able to do uh, some good work as well. But he's a new champion. Not a lot of people have him. But what he does, oh, my goodness. And I'm, I'm learning him a little bit more as I use him. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to be doing medium, light, medium, medium, light, medium. And I noticed that she was not getting any armor. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to keep on doing it. Medium, light, medium. I thought that I needed to alternate, but I guess not. So I'm just doing medium, light, medium. And then I activated the harvest. Boom. Skadoosh. And that's it. I absolutely love Gowan. I really do. Um, which probably means they're going to nerf him. I, I, I hate it. But usually when I'm having a good time, they come along and change something to fix that. So... <laughs> Anyway, uh, so now we're going to be fighting I-Hulk, who can be annoying. He can be very, very annoying, all right? Uh, I'm going in here with Claire, and I will be staying in her uh, Curse of Blood because I don't want to deal with that bleed. Now, I could cycle around, but um, I don't think I did that here. Sometimes I do. And I know that if I can take him out early, you know, I wouldn't have to deal with his second life. But I don't think I got that in this one. So I, I just played it nice and even and slow and that kind of thing. Don't want to deal with his special two because if I mess up, I'm usually dead. Um, special two can uh, stun and then he just wrecks. Very few times have I gotten hit with the special two, stunned, and survived. Very few. All right, baited out that special one. And yep, now we got to deal with this. Uh, the reason that I kept going, even though he was immortal, is because I wanted to bait out that special one. I wanted to push him to a special one so that I can use up more time. By baiting it out, that just helped me. His immortality was ticking, tick, ticking down. And now he's asleep. Because, you know, he's Hulk. You, you, you ain't taking Hulk out that easy. Sorry, Claire. All right.
now we've got Ultron and he's awakened. So that means that energy damage, he's going to be uh, recovering some of it. Um, but you see that enhanced shock? I was thinking, should I go in with Claire? I was like, no, I got Nebula who don't care about shock. She's immune. All right. So all I'm doing here, building up. Not only that, um, I don't think Ultron can be um, affected by building up her shocks. It doesn't stop his uh, functions. Yeah, see, he still gets his functions, but that's okay. And I keep on pushing him back a little bit because I don't want to deal with him in the corner, but we're doing good damage anyway. And this is even before the shots. And even if he caught me with that heavy attack, she's bleed immune, so not too worried about it. There we go. The shot, boom, 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 boom. And that was practice for what I'm gonna do to Nimrod. Um, in my last, I think it was the last video, uh, I pointed out that I didn't build up to a special two and I could have ended the fight faster by doing that. So that was practice. Build up to a special two, then get the parry, hit him. So Nimrod, though, has one little annoying thing that he does. He power locks you. And that's really annoying because I'll often, as soon as I get that two, I want to go into a combo and boom, but you have to kind of wait a little bit till the power lock is released and then do it. So you're going to see me do that here. All right, so the first parry didn't matter because I didn't have any shock uh, charges up. And here we go. We're just building them up. And boom. And I'm pushing them back. And I'm also building up uh, to a special two. So it serves a dual purpose. All right. So here we go. We're pushing him again. And at this point, I'm hoping that he fires off his special. There we go. And then I'm just going to take all of it into my block because I'm still working my way up now i'm already at 20 charges so i'm maxed out all right and here we go push over and he didn't power lock me there I'm not sure why i think it's because of the uh charges so there we go boom, boom boom bam and done yeah i think uh it's because she shut him down that i didn't get the power lock um i was at 20 and as soon as I released it, I was able to fire my special two off. And that is it. Fight's over. All right. So that's it. That's all I did for this particular war. And we'll be back in a few. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. Uh, we didn't get wrecked completely, but we did lose. We just died too much. Um, we were doing good in the beginning. I mean, I was looking and, and we were making good progress. We were in single digits and then I don't know what happened. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day.